Hello, the Faculty of Doctoral Studies and Research at RK University has prepared this instructional video for you. Hope you enjoy watching this video. The term, research ethics, is used to refer to a set of guidelines that all researchers need to follow in order to ensure that they continue behaving in a responsible manner. Here's a brief outline of what we are going to discuss today. You may pause the video at any time to review the contents of each slide. In this case, the student should clearly express his unwillingness to fabricate data. If the supervisor refuses to budge, then the student should seek immediate help from the institute's ethics committee. Plagiarism is indeed a serious issue. If you read an article, try to understand the context and then explain it to your target audience in your own words. Then there's really no reason to get any similarity. Dr. Rapifan should not misuse his position for financial gains. This is clearly a conflict of interest. Information pertaining to future likely patents should never be disclosed to anyone. In case an early disclosure is required, then all the concerned parties should be asked to sign a non disclosure agreement. Doctor Always Busy should provide mentorship and support to his PhD students. He should guide and train them responsibly. In all such cases, the concerned researchers should behave in a more responsible manner by making the necessary modifications to their experimental procedures. Splitting a research manuscript into two or more pieces or submitting an already published article to a new journal in order to get more citations are both considered to be highly unethical practices. Discrimination is certainly a very bad practice. It's highly unprofessional and absolutely unethical. Researchers should always make it a point to accept constructive feedback. Effective communication strategies should be used in order to get a viewpoint across the table without offending anyone. Researchers should understand the concept of patient privacy and refrain from disclosing the identities of patients unless required by law. In order to maintain professional competency, all researchers, regardless of their age and stature, should attend workshops and training events, as and when required. Researchers should ensure strict compliance with all the regulatory guidelines from time to time. Prior approvals need to be sought from institutional ethics committees for all experiments involving humans and animals. To learn more about RK University, visit rku.ac.in today or check us out on Facebook. Thanks.